Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and today we are going to talk about romantic A's. Here you can see I am reading these things so keep on listening to me if you can not read these things. This is just a big presentation on the same page and here I am sharing with you uh, some techniques how, how I study and uh, what I did. Uh, for qualifying my exams. So uh, you can use the such techniques. This will help you to analyze all the facts in one thing and uh, you can discuss things with yourself. So we can talk about romantic A's in this way. And this was an artistic and uh, artistic literary intellectual moment. And it had, uh, you know, uh, French Revolution had uh, put a lot of you know, impact on uh, romantic A's and they had some ideas from this. Liberalism and radicalism was the part of this. Germans, uh, Trump and Drang movement also affected this thing. And lyrical ballad was the lyrical ballad. Here you can see uh, publication was in 1798 and 1800, the second uh, one. The first one was in 1798. So uh, generally, 1798 is considered the starting point of romantic A's. And Frederick Schiegel uh, uh, used term romantic, all right, and uh, the literature for the first time. So this was the Frederick Schiegel was the uh, first person who used the word romantic. I'm not teaching you this thing. I'm just showing you how to uh, prepare your notes for uh, discussion. And uh, you can remember these things and you can make all the charts like this. And here is some important work, Biographia Literaria. This is by S.T. Coleridge. He talked about fancy and imagination. And he also wrote uh, Kublai Khan in 1816. And if you wish to go further, you can define fancy and imagination. And you can uh, talk about, you know, Kublai Khan that um, it was uh, uh, about, you know, dream. Uh, this is dream allegory. So you can, uh, I mean to say, you can uh, further, you can extend this tree. And here, let's see here. The first generation poets and second generation poets. So first generation romantics were Wordsworth, Coleridge and Southey. And you can write down their characteristic here. The second generation poets were Byron, Shelley and Keats. Romantic A's was, you know, consi uh, is considered for, uh, you know, best for poetry. Now here, let's talk about John uh, Duan. It had, uh, you know, it has 16 cantos. It is an epic satire. Child Herald Pilgrimage is another work. A um, young man, Elizabeth for knighthood. Okay, this is the story about uh, this work. Uh, later, you can uh, add some other things like Shelley's Adonis, a defense of poetry. Okay, and uh, Thomas Love Peacock's The Four Ages of Poetry. So these are the things in, uh, you can say, in short and you can study these things here are some important books related to romantic period you should uh, study or you must just study these things Kublai Khan, La Belle Dame Sans Mercy, Songs of Innocence, Songs of uh, Experience these were written actually in uh, 1789 1789 and this is also uh, called the starting point of romantic age because these works has some uh, you know romantic things in that so romantic doesn't mean uh, love but uh, it has the another meaning the free expression all right so here songs of liberty the marriage of heaven and hell the lamb the Tiger, Lyrical Ballads, Don Juan, The Vision for Judgment, Vision for uh, Judgment and Curse of Koima. So this is the presentation about Romantic Ace. Hopefully you like the video. If you like the video, we will be, uh, be with me on this channel and share this channel with other. We will be talking about Victorian Ace and lots more I have uh, in this uh, in this series like Modern Ace I have here. So. Uh, lots of things I have.
and i am preparing more notes for you so please be with me thank you for watching bye bye take care see you in next video